And a news alert, another infant possibly sick and in danger. North Glen police searching the area around 99th and Huron for both the baby and his mother. And 7 News reporter Mark Stewart live at the North Glen Police Department. Mark, police searching around the clock tonight. And, and tonight, the investigators here have been checking with hospitals. They've even been searching through dumpsters. They are desperately trying to find that baby boy. And even though this case doesn't necessarily meet the checklist of an Amber Alert, they are just as concerned about his health and welfare. It's a little frightening that someone just drops a baby off on the on someone's door. Yet that's what police think happened here on Bruce Lane in North Glen. I have 30 grandkids too, and it's like. Why would a mother do that? Police are telling 7 News the baby was in a car seat attached to oxygen. When the homeowner heard a noise, she looked outside and found the baby. We talked to the homeowner. She didn't want to go on camera, but told me the woman was a complete stranger and told her she thought she was at the nanny's. The homeowner is now upset, second guessing herself after telling the woman to take her baby. The woman that found the baby is obviously very distraught because she wished that she had the child there with her so we could help it. Police say this appears to be random, but feel the woman could live in the area since she picked a specific subdivision. We just want to know that you and your baby are healthy, that we can help you if you need the help. It's like something in a movie. I mean, it's, it's scary. Police tonight working with some very general and basic descriptions. The mother is described as Hispanic with some kind of injury, some kind of abrasion to her chin. They also say her car simply described as a four door gold sedan. The key in all of this may be the baby's description. Only about four months old, this little boy at the time was attached to oxygen tubes. Live in North Glen tonight, Mark Stewart, 7 News. And new developments at